video is about a workaround that I created for a standard rotary system with a light burn file. At the suggestion of one of my friends, Teresa, I'm going to make it available free for everyone. Please, after watching the video, go down into the comments and the method to get the, the light burn file will be posted. Hello everybody, George Kenner. For the last couple weeks, I've been teasing the people in my Facebook group, Laser Freedom, about something that I invented with acrylic. And I think most people figured out that it had to do with my rotary device. Let me tell you, because most inventions have a starter birthplace, when I purchased my Eon Mira 7, this rotary device came with it. It's heavy duty, very well constructed. Uh, the, uh, the shafts are solid, everything I'm totally satisfied with. But another company that doesn't even produce one of these said that it was like valueless. So it came into my brain as though this was probably not the best thing. Well, free is not bad in my opinion. Um, as part of a package transaction, especially when the price is comparable. So I started to think, you know, this company had said a couple other things that I didn't really agree with, which is why I didn't buy their machine. I, I started to look at this and one of my neighbors came over and they wanted some glasses engraved for a friend for their wedding. And I said, well, let me see what I can do. Well, if you're looking at this in its simplicity, how are you going to get this to, you know, level out? So it, you know, the, the weight of one end of the wine glass is always going to draw down and, and pull it out of the plane with a laser head. So I started to think, you know, what can I do? And I came up with what, you know, some people called an elegant design. I, I took these and I put a couple of wheels on them, actually the same wheels that are on this, and I was able to level out the glass. I put some tape on here and it worked perfectly. I made the glasses, everyone was happy. Well, I started to think, you know, this is just like a prototype and most companies that make a prototype, they go through the process and make it several times. And I, I started to think, you know, there may be other people out there that would like to have this. So I went about trying to improve it. Now, of course, mine started with somebody telling me that this wasn't bad, but there is another kind of inspiration, and that comes from somebody telling you that you can. Like when a wife tells a husband, it's gonna be okay, you can conquer this, keep going. Well, so what I did was I got some T-Track, and I'm gonna put links to all of this stuff down in, my, down in the description in my Amazon store. So if anybody wants to take this project on themselves, they potentially could. So I, I took this, I got a, a T-Track bolt that'll slide right in there. I went over to Lightburn and I fashioned out some supports where I could put a hole through. Now, this is 3 8 inch acrylic that my machine cut right through perfectly and it looks like it has a polished edge on it. So I put this in there. Now I can level out literally any device by moving my rollers and put it along. Now, the, the machine that I would have really liked to have had to do this is called a pie burn. And I'm not saying anything bad about the other roller devices. What I'm saying is if you had to, you know, overcome something with your machine or you needed to make a template, you saw a product that you wanted to make, you may have in your own tool chest with this machine, the tools necessary to make the jig, to make the pattern. I have hours and hours into this and I sent it away to an engineer to find out whether it was commercially viable to even try and do something like this. Now, first time I sent it, the parts showed up, they'd been broken. Acrylic's not the way to go. You'd have to, you'd need another material. But again, if I break one of these, I'm going right back over to my machine and print another one. The idea that you can overcome and make this is what this is all about. Be inspired, take some time, think. I wanted a metal shop, couldn't do it. I'm walking around cleaning, I think I was doing the dishes when I, the idea came to do this out of acrylic. This is, and I've shown this to several engineers. I, I live in a community where there is a, a few engineers and they walk by and they see what I'm doing and I brought them in I said, what do you think of this? And they said, whoa, you know, I, I can't believe that you were able to pull this off this quickly. This is not for everybody to do, but to prove, I'm going to put a link to somebody that you can buy a pie burn for, from down in the description. 
I'd like to have a pie burn. But you know, this would, this would work for me for right now. Why not try something like that? Why not be inspired to go see what you can make with your own machine? I'll share one more secret. Why I was doing this, I looked at the design and I thought of all the different machines that I have been around in my lifetime and I found another way to do this because there's a limitation with Z height and I think I found something. As a matter of fact, I bought the majority of the parts and I'm waiting for a stepper motor and when that arrives, I'm going to assemble what could be an entirely different style of rotary device that will work with my machine. And I got it all from parts on the internet. Again, what I'm trying to do is inspire you. Many people won't take the time or the energy necessary to try and figure this out. But this is part of what I'll call, this is the real value to me in owning these machines. To be able to come out and solve a problem and make something like this, this is why I really love my laser, my CNC, and everything that I'm able to do out here in my shop. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. You can do it in my Facebook group. I put my email address down on the bottom. I'd be glad to help you. But this, I solved a problem. What problem do you have that you could solve with your laser that you're not looking at? I wish you all the very best. Reach out to me if I can help. Thank you.